Each search skills level is marked in the same way each time. There are 10 criteria and each one is marked out of 10. In order to qualify for a pass, you need to get 8 out of 10 in the four key areas. These are that your dog has a clear indication, that the search has been set appropriate to the level you're working on, that there is no aversive treatment of your dog, and that your dog is allowed to search independently and isn't directed to the scent itself. The other six criteria are that your dog is rewarded after the search, that there is no nagging of your dog physically or verbally, that your dog is given help if they require it, that your dog is given space to do the job and isn't overcrowded. This will obviously depend on the amount of space available to you. That your dog is interested in the search and isn't overstimulated. This will obviously vary from breed to breed and we do appreciate that. And finally, that there are no false indications. If there are, then we remove one point each time. While false indication isn't a key area, if your dog false indicates on more than half the items, we will have to fail that level. The search that you submit doesn't have to be the first attempt at it. Watch it back and if you don't think that what your dog has done is the best of its ability, then just don't submit the video and have another go another day. Finally, is it possible to cheat? And the answer is probably yes. But this isn't a competition. This is about achieving levels with your dog and we're not exalting any one dog above another. So there isn't really anything to be gained by doing it. But if you can submit a video of your dog looking like they're searching when they're not, then either you have amazing training skills or amazing editing skills and you probably deserve the level anyway. We hope this has been helpful for you when preparing your searches and we're looking forward to seeing your dog searching very soon.